Hey everybody, Michelle with Michelle's for a Living here, and thanks for watching my videos. And today I'm going to be continuing my video series for new couponers um, with a video talking about digital coupons um, and how to use them. Now, uh, they're also called load to cart coupons, and that's what I tend to call them. Um, you might see e coupon or electronic coupon. It just depends on who's saying it and what company uh, is having them. So basically, digital coupons are just like paper coupons, except they're done electronically. There's you don't need to physically cut them out of you know the newspaper or and give them to the cashier. Basically, the stores that use these have you know, some type of a loyalty program, you might have a physical, um, like this is Kroger, you might have a Kroger card that you use, and once they scan your Kroger card, if you have um, activated the coupons in your account, then, and you bought the product, then they work electronically for you, it gets subtracted off of your total, and there isn't anything else you have to do, okay? So, um, now Kroger has an actual loyalty card, or I could use my phone number um, at checkout in order to access these. So, um, typically, you know, after you get your loyalty card at a place, you need to go to that um, store's website and register your card on their website and set up an account. And I think it's a good idea to have a separate couponing email from your other email <laughs> because once you like go to Kroger and sign up you'll get emails from Kroger or you know whatever store it is and it's just best to keep all your couponing stuff in a separate email and it's easy enough to get a free email account and do that with so um, so I went on Kroger's website after I got my card I registered my card and now I can go to the digital coupons. See, they have savings and then go to digital coupons there. And there are a lot of coupons. There's 396 of them right now, it says. I'm browsing the coupons. And if I decide I want to take the coupon, I have to load the coupon. So that's pretty standard with any website that has digital coupons. You, you physically have to activate the coupon. Um, and then... Some of them limit how many you can activate at a time, but other ones don't. And I I think I might have, like, went through with Kroger one time just to see, and I think I did hit some limit. It's a really high limit, though. So um, if you want to browse through what coupons you have clipped, you can, you know, there's usually my coupons. And so these are the ones that I have activated right now. And the good thing about Kroger is every Friday they have some type of a free item, and so... Um, you, you only have Friday. <laughs> you have to go in and activate that coupon on Friday. But see, this one doesn't expire until April the 30th. And then if I go in and pick up some of the Sour Patch Kids, the coupon works automatically and I get it for free. There's another free item I have waiting. Okay, so Kroger has this and that's that's how you use them. Now, digital coupons are manufacturer coupons for the most part. And so, you know, I have, you know, I have this one for Windex activated. I can't use another Windex coupon on that same item. If I just buy one item, I use the digital coupon or I use a paper coupon. Okay. Now, if I want to use, if I want to buy two Windex, then, you know, this, pa this um, digital coupon would work on one of them and I could use a paper coupon on the second Windex. Okay. Um, the other thing is, is the Kroger does some of these, use it five times. So, so I don't know other stores that do that, but this coupon right here will actually work five times, up to five times. I could buy one, two, three, four, or five of these items, and that coupon would apply to each one of those items. Otherwise, the digital coupons, unless it says something specific like that, it only works one time and one time only. Okay, and then it disappears off of your list. So that's what Kroger's looks like. Um, this is on Rite Aid's website. And um, so these 
you know, if I wanted to know more information about them, then you can touch, you know, they have that in different locations. So I can activate those and then um, you can pull up a whole list of everything. You know, some of them like Rite Aid, I activate all of them because there isn't a limit on how many that I can have activated. And those work automatically with the Rite Aid card. And then um, Meyer, which is a grocery store chain here in the Midwest, um, they do not have a physical card that you scan at the store. You've The only way you can access these is using your phone number that you provided them and your PIN number. And they have more than just coupons. So here's the regular digital coupons, but they also have other programs like um, these these rewards here. Oh, I don't know what this is. We'll get through that. Um, so like this I have in progress. If I spend $150 in total purchases, you usually got you know 28 days to do this. I can get $3 off my next purchase and see, and it's tracking how much I've spent of that $150. So this, some of the digital programs that are out there might have other bonus things like this going on. Okay, so um, that's a reason to look into it. So Dollar General, they have digital coupons as well. And once again, Dollar General, just like Meyer, there's not a physical card that you get that you signed up with. You just came on here, you registered your phone number, got a PIN number and everything, and then you um, activate the coupons that you want. And then when you go to the store and you're at checkout, you put in your phone number on the little credit card slide-in machine. Tell them you want to put your phone number in there for your um, digital coupons. And then they work for you that way. Um, and some of these might be, you know, like these are store coupons. Um, say $5 when you make a $25 or more purchase at Dollar General locations. So that is a store coupon. And then this is a manufacturer coupon. And they would actually work in conjunction with each other. Okay, and and I thought I would give you um, an exa another example. Um, this is timing out on me, but um, Walgreens has um, they have a loyalty program, and you have a card with them, and they have digital coupons as well. So it's just one of those things. Um, and what's also nice about um, digital coupons, they will put um, store brand coupons in here. Kroger does it a lot. Meyer will do it, and you'll find coupons on items that elsewhere you wouldn't find them except for in the digital world. <laughs> so, um, and then, and Walgreens does a lot of personalized coupons. And um, so you can get some, you know, higher value coupons sometimes show up in with the digital coupons, I guess is what I wanted to say. So, um, yeah, you have to, you have to actually activate the digital coupons and also remember for the most part, they are manufacturer coupons. So you either use a paper coupon or the digital coupon. All right. I'll talk to you guys later.